Welcome back to Andis Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add timer in card. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in card, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding a timer to your card website is a straightforward process that can give you practical and strategic purposes depending on the goals of your website because a countdown timer can drive urgency for special promotions, sales, or discounts, encouraging visitors to take action before the offer expires. Now, for you to be able to add a timer, just go to the plus button here that says add an element and click on timer. Now, you might want to use the timer for, um, I'm going to hover this one so we can uh, view it around here. Now you see, all right, so you have the default time for the timer, like a countdown. You also have an option for the count up, the duration, and of course the default. You see, if you put in the countdown, it is fixed to a date time stopping at zero. And again, as I've mentioned earlier, this is especially useful for promotion, sales, or discount. Like for example, for a Black Friday sale. Now, for example, we put in the uh, default. We have an option to put in the uh, the date. For example, I'm going to be choosing um, April 20 or 420. 2025 and the time is it's up to you you can choose the time zone for example um if you are in the u.s you might want to hover to the eastern standard time and then once you're happy with that all you're gonna do is click on done all right of course you can choose for uh there's gonna be a lot of options here you can choose the timer in terms of the digits, the labels, but when I'm choosing for another color, all right, let's choose that. And for the uh, timer, let's choose another um, width and spacing. Depends on you, really. So it's all up to you. This is highly customizable anyway. You can drop shadow if you want, maybe um like that one. Let's put in the yellow. There you go. The distance. So this is highly customizable. This is very useful if you're hosting a live event, webinar, or a stream, or a countdown timer. Can keep your audience informed, excited about the start time, right? So you can choose the font, like maybe this one. There you go. Now you can use a timer countdown to for a release of your new product or service creating a buzz and interest among your website visitors right for animation that's in fade in all right you see there's a lot that you can do from here you can choose that tilt lift and of course you can put in the duration for example you can play that and after doing so, just click on done and you have, were able to add a timer to your card website. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.